So today we're road testing the Doddle, which is a dog collar with a lead built into it. Um, as you can see, it's a kind of a, a normal looking dog collar with a sort of normal fastening on it, but it has this part here, which has the lead very cleverly hidden in it. So um, I'm just gonna go and fix it to our Beagle Bella and I'll show you what it looks like on her. So this is Bella and um, she's wearing the Doddle lead today double collar and lead um, as you can see here is the part that contains the lead and this is the actual lead here and it has a t-shaped ending to it which means that um, you can just grip it between two fingers so you can pull it out like this and then we can head off on our dog walk okay so um, we're out with the doddle and we've just um, reached an area of uh, woodland which is just very close to our house and this is where the doddle works very well for us because it means that I can put Bella on the lead for that short bit where we go across the road and then we can um, let go of the lead and she gets to carry the lead all the way rather than me which is great so we'll let go off you go Bella go on off there we go and she can now carry the lead and she's not at all phased by the way to that round her neck so that's great we're back at the house and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the other reason that we love the Doddle. Um, if you know beagles at all you'll know that they are occasionally prone to being escape artists and Bella is no exception and our bin men give our dogs treats and when they came the other day Bella decided that she couldn't possibly wait for them to arrive at our house so she leapt the fence and ran down the road and threw herself in front of the bin lorry. Um, fortunately our bin guys are great and they spotted her and they dragged her back up the road. Had she been wearing the doddle it would have been a lot easier for them because they would have been able to get to the lead and actually put her on a lead and, and pull her back up the road and they had to sort of do it with the collar. Um, the other thing of course is that when they run off often two of you will have to separate to go and look for them and it's typical that the person who finds the dog is actually the one who hasn't got the lead and then you have to sort of do something with a belt or you know whatever you can to get them back so it's a winner for us having the dog actually having the lead on her at all times because if she escapes we can get her back with no problems